What if I told you that testing software could be as easy as asking a question to your best friend? Today, I'm sharing five AI tools that are changing the game for QA testers. And even if you are a newbie, you are a novice, you'll understand exactly how they work. I'm Abhijit Watts. I'm your AI-powered automation coach. Imagine having to check if every button works, every page loads correctly, and every feature does what it's supposed to do manually. But here's the thing. AI is like having a super smart robot assistant that never gets tired, never makes mistakes, and works 24 by 7. Tool number one, and this is testing. What it does, think of it like having a really smart friend who watches you use an app and then remembers exactly what you did. You know how you might show your little brother how to play a video game? You'd say, click here, then there, and press the button. Testing works the same way, but instead of your brother, it's an AI that learns your steps and repeat them perfectly every single time. Why it's awesome? Here's what makes testing super cool. It uses AI to fix itself when websites change. Like if a button moves to a different spot, you don't need to write complicated code again. It's like a drag and drop. It can run tests faster than any human ever could, the speed at which it can write the code. Now let's say you are testing an online shopping app. Instead of clicking add to cart 100 times manually, which is time taking, too much of work, and you don't want to do it, right? So test teams AI watches you do it once, learns the pattern, and then does it automatically for every product. Isn't that wonderful? Mind blown? Right. Next up is Mabel. Now what it does? Imagine if your smartphone could test other apps and tell you what's broken. That's basically what Mabel does. It's like having a detective that never sleeps. While you are sleeping, eating or playing, Mabel is busy checking websites and apps to make sure everything works perfectly. The magic behind it Here's where it gets really cool. Mabel uses something called machine learning. Think of it like this. Every time it tests something, it gets smarter. It's like how you get better at video games. The more you play, except Mabel gets better at finding bugs. That's what you need as a QA engineer, right? More bugs, more quality. QA teams love Mabel because of n number of reasons. So here are some of those first is finding problems before real users do second is works in the cloud which means it's super fast it creates beautiful reports that even your boss can understand tool number three apply tools now what it does this is like having supervision you know how superheroes can see things others can't apply tools can spot tiny visual differences that human eyes might miss think about it if a button is supposed to be blue but shows up green or if text overlaps weirdly, Apple Tools catches it instantly. Now, how does it work? Let me explain you in a simple way. Remember playing spot the difference games? Two similar images and then you spot what's the difference between these two? Apple Tools does this automatically for website and apps. But it's way better at it than any human. Companies use Apple Tools to make sure their apps look perfect on your phone, your tablet, your computer and even your smart TV, right? You won't have any embarrassing layout fails when customers are trying to buy something and that's what you'd like to give them as a great user experience with a quality product. Next up is Sauce Labs. Sauce Labs is like having a massive toy store, but instead of toys, it has every type of phone, computer, browser you can imagine. Consider it as a cloud device farm and you have multiple phones, multiple desktop connected where you can connect to your mobile apps, you can connect to your browsers, web browsers, you can launch different browsers, you can install apps on your mobile phones. So it's like that. So instead of you buying 10 different devices, you can just have a setup on Sauce Labs and you can select the device, you can install your app, test on that device and certify it. Similarly for browsers, you can have different browsers from Edge, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Brave browser, whatnot. You can launch your web application in these browsers, test your web application in these browsers and certify it. You are saving tons of money by not buying thousands of phones or maybe even hundreds of phones. Isn't that wonderful? That's magical, right? Tool number five, and this is Catalon Studio. What it does, and this is 
like the Swiss Army knife of testing tools. This is one of the best tool that I've seen in my experience. It has everything you need in one tool. Catalon does that for testing. Simple explanation. Imagine you have a magic wand that can test websites automatically, test mobile apps, test APIs. So consider API as something that can push data to your apps. It can create reports that's not only professional but also easily readable for your business folks. That's Catalan Studio. Best feature for beginners, the coolest part, it has something called record and playback, which earlier Selenium used to provide. It's literally like recording a video of yourself using an app and then playing it back automatically. No coding required. Let me blow your mind with what these AI tools can do. It can test thousand scenarios in the time it takes you to test even 10 or 100 manually. It can work while you sleep, 24 by 7 testing. Catch bugs before users find them. Save companies millions of dollars. Make apps more reliable for everyone. That's what you want as a product owner, as a tech owner, as a business owner. If you're thinking, this sounds amazing, but I'm just getting started. Now here's what I want you to do. Pick one tool from this list that excites you most. Check out their free trial. Most of these have free versions. Start with something simple. Maybe test your favorite website. Most importantly, don't be afraid of experiment. Test it, practice it, do it again and again till you master that tool. Then move to next tool. Remember, every expert was once a beginner. Even I was a beginner. I started with manual testing. Now I'm expert in AI and automation as well. And I have been coaching people on automation, AI, business, leadership, career, and whatnot. QA world needs more smart and curious people like you. So why don't you go ahead, leverage AI tools, and become that smart QA? Let's transform the way softwares are being tested. Whether you are a student curious about tech, a QA tester looking to level up, or someone who just wants to understand how apps become so reliable, this is your roadmap. Hit that subscribe button if you want more AI automation secrets. Drop a comment telling me which tool you are most excited to try. And remember, the future of QA is AI-powered automation, and you are about to be part of it.